Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we decided to, uh, to do a little bit of spying on the enemy, so we made it down to Seville, and in the process we stole the new Spanish Galleon, and we're now using it. The next thing we decided to do is that we need to get some battle experience, some fame and piracy. We're going to do that by attacking merchant fleets. So we're going to start with this guy here, and it really doesn't matter who you attack, because um, we just need to get fame and piracy to win the game. So this is a Turkish merchant fleet. Um, he happens to be in the wrong place in the wrong time, so we're going to take him out. We're going to attack him here. And because this is the first battle of the game, I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, so you can see how, how to do this at the very beginning. It's, it's important to get a strategy together at the beginning. So, Okay, they're apparently not afraid of us. So, let's go. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to want to... You want to go right up next to him. And you're going to want to... When it, uh, when it says to challenge to a duel, you're going to want to say no. Because we're just going to rush him. And apparently he was able to propose a duel anyway. So, okay. We don't have great equipment, but we still should be able to take care of this. Now, he's got a thrusting... Or he's got a lashing sword. And we've got... We just kind of got a sword for everything. So it doesn't really matter what we do. I would definitely keep blocking, though, just because our armor is kind of crappy. And he really has no other powerful attack. But again, it really doesn't matter what we do. Because every attack that we do is going to do good, a good amount of damage. Okay, so we're just going to keep the block up. And I'm going to go ahead and come back with the thrust, and hopefully this will be enough. That actually might do it. Ah, very close, very close. Okay, I'll do a block 9 just to be safe. And I will come back with a thrust. And that should win it. Ah, shoot, block it. Okay, well, we're just going to keep just keep it up. One of these days, he's going to slip up. And uh, let's see, what do we have? A really, we have a really strong lash, so let's try that. Ugh. So, now, if you were doing this with, like, Jow or, or Ernst or something, you'd be in big trouble. It would be very smart to avoid... Ugh. It would be very smart to avoid uh, dueling with these guys or this pop. Now... If we, uh, if we stalemate him in a duel, that's actually okay. Because we'll just rush him in the next part. Man, we just can't seem to get the job done. Um... Okay, I should have blocked. That's alright. Okay, I had a thrust nine ready anyways. Come on. Alright, that should do it. Cool, got him. And it, you actually get more battle experience um, if you do it in a duel. But just because it's so early in the game and we have such bad equipment, I wouldn't recommend it. But that's okay. You got to see a duel anyway. Um, and normally what you do is you can just rush them and t when they have zero crew, then you win. Okay, so we can add three of these to our fleet. Now, we're not really going to um, use these ships. We're just going to sell them. I would always recommend taking the Karak because it's, you can, it sells for the most amount of money. And then the rest are just nows, which you can't get a whole lot of money for. They're not great ships. But... Um, but it's better than nothing, and since we're going to be going and docking anyway, and we don't have a whole lot of money to start with, we might as well get some money going, some things going. Okay, good. Now, you don't really need 50 gunpowder, so this is a perfect time to unload some of our gunpowder. And there's some, we can get some food, and the fish doesn't really sell for very much, so, I mean, if you want to get the fish, you can, but I don't, I don't really think we need to, so. Okay, good, and we won our first, uh... Our first fight of the game. Very cool. Okay. Now, we need to head up to Seville here, because we need to sell some of our new ships. Now, most of the time, I would enter the port during the day, so that I could take advantage of all the shops. But there's actually a blockade that's going on. Spain has decided to block themselves against us. So, what we're going to do... First thing we want to do is we want to transfer some of our crew. Because we want to get max amount of crew on our flagship. And so we're just going to unload all of our crew here, because this is, this is going to be important in the next part of the game here in just a second. So, Okay, and we'll dismiss 19 guys, yep. Okay, now that I've maxed them out, I can reassign my crew, because I don't need 72 guys running my ship. So if I do 25, oh, no, sorry, 25, that should be enough to keep this thing afloat. And then I only need 5, 4, and the rest for combat. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, good to go. Okay, well, I need to rest up, so I will do that. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm, Matthew's got something he's worried about. What could that be? Okay. 
The whole time we've been sailing, there's been a ship tailing us. Uh-oh. That's not good. Couldn't it be a simple coincidence? Yeah, it could be. But then... Hmm. It saw we were going to port here. It pulled back rather quickly, so it's being... It's just kind of waiting for us. Waiting for us in ruin for us to come out. Uh-oh. Increase the strength of our equipment. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, and already the Spanish are mad at us because they, we stole their ship, so... Okay, well, I am going to rest up, and I will meet you guys uh, right up front to take care of the next part of, some, of the business that we have to take care of. Nice little nap music. Okay, we're back. We took care of that. And um, now we are going to go and sell some of our ships, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now you got to be careful every time you enter a Spanish port because you might get attacked and you might lose some of your money. Um, no, we don't need advice from you because we know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to start by selling our ships. And I still can't believe our ship is named Fools, but anyways. And we get a decent amount of money for these ships. Um, it's going to be enough to get us going anyways until we can build up our fleet. And there's still cargo, but that's fine. It's just some extra food that we thought we needed, but we're good to go. Okay, now, yeah, they don't have a, a Venetian here. You may want to start thinking about looking for Venetians, but I don't think we have enough money to kind of support the Venetian right now. So, okay, took care of that. Now what I want to do is I want to show you this. Uh, you've seen this trick before, but there's actually a weapon that we want to get here in Seville. And now that we have the money to do so, we're going to do that. Okay, no, 8 a.m. is not a good time. Oops, nope, not 1 a.m. 2 a.m. Yes, because we're gonna we're gonna go to the weapon store at 2 a.m. in the morning. This is the what you would call the black market. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go and purchase this weapon. So we head over to the weapon store. Well, it's the item store, but again, I, I just call it the weapon store. And let's see, we will get the the bastard sword. We definitely want to get this weapon for now, just because we're gonna get we're gonna get into a duel here in just a second. Yes, that's fine. And we'll put it on. We're also going to buy a telescope while we're here so we can discover ports really far away. Might as well get one of those too. Okay, so we took care of that. Now we're going to want to sell our short sword. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, five or gold pieces, that's fine. You could say no and sometimes get 705 for it, but you know, at this point I really don't care because it's just a few hundred gold pieces. Doesn't really matter. So, okay. Well, we're doing pretty good here. So don't forget that ship's tailing us. So, okay, meet you guys back out on the high seas. Okay, we're back, ready to go, and... What? What? We're being attacked. It is the Spanish, all right. So it was a Spanish ship that was following us. They must want their ship back. Hmm, they've come to sink us, I bet. Uh-oh. <laughs> we only stole one ship. We're going to take on the Spanish, and now it's time for our first Spanish battle of the game. And it happens to be a battle fleet, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually figure out who we're fighting here. So we can get some info on the other fleet. Yeah, this is Bernal Loyola. He's not very strong. He's only got a battle level of 11. And we just got a new weapon, so we're going to put it to use. So, definitely want to challenge them to a duel, because they have five ships, and they can take us out. So, Okay. Now, even though our armor sucks, our weapon is really good. So we're just going to bank on that, and we're just going to be the same strategy. Just continue to block and come back with powerful attacks. It doesn't really matter what they are, really, because we have a straight sword, and so every attack that we do will be effective. Uh, I'm going to try another thrust here. And that should do it. Got him. All right. Yay, victory for us. Okay, so, sorry, Bernal. Didn't mean to mess with you there. Okay, so we took care of that, and we get another 5,600 gold pieces, and we can take three of the galleons. Now, we're going to up... We're, well, it doesn't really matter which of the galleons you take, because we're not going to really use them. The only time I would keep a galleon that we, that we uh, defeat is if it had cannons on it, because cannon's the best gun in the game, and you can actually do some good with that. But I can actually get nine gold bars from selling these three ships. So you actually may want to think about starting to look for Venetians right now. So 
Something to think about. Okay, so we're all done with that. We need to restock on food and water. And since we're docking right away, we don't, don't need to worry about getting anything extra. I admit your victory, but someday my country will avenge my defeat. I don't think so. No. Okay, I'm going to go in here, resell my ships, and be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, I've sold all my ships, but unfortunately I'm out of time. So next time we're going to start hiring some mates on our team so that we can get more ships, and we're going to continue to advance the story, hopefully. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.